hey, so we're going to be looking at some of my hype stocks that I'm looking at. And we're going to just start off with DraftKings. It looks like the last time we checked on this one was just a couple weeks ago. Uh, it looks like last time when we looked, it was at 19. And I was selling, I was saying to sell or short this one at 20. And I actually followed through with that one. So that's interesting. Um, it looks like this one's actually working out for us, at least in the, those past couple weeks. Uh, we put in that short position around 19. It's currently at 17. Uh, I think I'll keep this one open uh, just because it looks like this one, at least most recently in the past, say, roughly a year, it seems like it's bouncing between about $11 and $20. So for now, I will just keep it open because I think if anything, it's very likely that this one's going to fall back to 15 and possibly closer to 12 or 11. And then at that point, I'll probably close out of that position. Again, it, it wasn't anything major. I might have put maybe $100 in that, so like five shares. And so it's not going to be a you know, a big gain or loss. It's just going to be more or less like a test to see if my patterns were accurate. And uh, so that's really all it is. Uh, but for right now, uh, I do like my trend lines. Uh, it's a little distorted, but we're down here in the corner. Uh, and again, this is like a two-year chart. So we'll just zoom in a little bit so that we can see more of what's going on today and through about the past year, year and a half. And that just kind of gives us a, a better look at uh, where we drew in our indicator lines. So we're up here. Um, it looks like as predicted, uh, and it looks like we, kinda, we must have done this right in this range somewhere. Uh, I don't have the exact price of when I made this transaction but I do have on my spreadsheet 19 so we must have caught it somewhere up here in the upper end and uh, as we kind of forecasted it is trending down uh, we'll see if we can get another couple weeks where it just continues to trend downwards I kind of think it's gonna it could follow a pattern like this where it just kind of bounces up and down but continually trends down and uh, so that's kind of where I'm thinking this one's going to go. And uh, again, the, the thinking is that once it gets down to like 12 or 11, uh, well, if it gets down to into the 11s, I'm definitely going to close out the position and then switch it to a buy position. And that way I can just hold this and hopefully as more states legalize gambling, I can capitalize that on that acquisition. Uh, but otherwise... Yeah, not much has changed in my opinion in those couple weeks. I, I'm just gonna keep holding where it is. If I were to update my tracker, um, I can at least update the date. Um, outside of that, not really seeing much of a change. Um, I do think that once it hits the 15, it might take a week or two to get past just based on it it acted as a very slight support line back here in like september october of last year but then once it crossed that line it it had a harder time getting above that 15 dollars mark than it did dropping below it and so i think once it actually drops below 15 then it should very easily get to 12 and the question will be will it actually hit back to 11 uh, that we'll kind of see but overall you could argue it's in this slight uptrend but the fact that it's continuing to drop especially over the past couple weeks um, we haven't seen the next bottom for this one so we can't I just don't think it'd be fair to draw in a trend line at this point but I do kind of anticipate this one to, if I were to draw one, I imagine that what we'll see is something along the lines of, whoops, 
something along the lines of maybe like that. So it might take about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe another two months to hit that point, realizing that it might bounce up and down a little bit before reaching that. Um, but it could, just as quickly as it rose up, it could very quickly fall. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep tracking it, but that's that's kind of my forecast in terms of the downtrend. We'll see how that plays out over the coming weeks. And by the time we circle back to it, uh, my opinion might change. But for now, uh, there was a short position in this. We'll see if that uh, continues to work out for us. So I'm just gonna make a note that a short position was made around dollars uh, just so I can kind of keep track of myself um, but yeah that's pretty much it so all we did right now is update DraftKings um, and actually before I share that so right now it's at about 17 and the buy point the sell point that's we're, we, we're keeping that locked in and we notated that we added a short position at around 19 something or other uh, so that's pretty much it uh, in terms of like doing something new uh, no because it's, again it's not near a buy point the first time I would consider is 15 but again I think if it can go past that 15 mark that we drew in it's very likely to come back down to 12 and once it gets to 12 that would be the first time that I would consider switching the position from a short position into a buy position other, other than that um, you know let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh, otherwise like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye